No, you guys were uh, two of ten in overtime. You know why? Why when you came out of overtime did the offense not click uh, and let them get a lead like that? Um, I feel like defensively uh, we had to be tougher on the ball. I mean, I feel like we we got a few wall ups in the lane where they got some fouls. Um, I mean, we got to be I mean more disciplined in there. Um, and you know, offensively, I felt like you know we got good looks. We just gotta we just gotta make them. I mean, you just got to put them in. And, um, I mean, I know it's the second game. I know, you know, first, I mean, second official game together. But, I mean, in those type of times, I mean, you just got to make shots. I mean, when you open, I mean, we just got to make them, including me. So, um, that, I think that's just pretty much what it was. Uh, no, this is just a pretty general question, but, you know, as the game was ending, as it was an overtime and ending, what emotions were you feeling? Um, I mean, of course, I mean, I was I was upset about it. I mean, I feel like we should have won. Uh, I felt like um, throughout the game, we 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 had spurts where we were playing well, and um, I mean, I felt like we got you know just stuck for a long time. Like I mean, it was like spurts where we were just like we couldn't score, we weren't really getting stops. It was just like right in between. And um, I mean, it, it, it was tough for me. I mean, it's a second game, like I like I said, and um, I mean, we definitely got to learn from it. Uh, got a long sleeve in ahead of us, so um, you know, it's just a bump in the road. I mean, we just got to come back strong for the next game. You mentioned that you were getting stuck there. Why do you think that was happening, and how do you guys make sure that you don't have that in the future? Um, I mean, we just got to stay true to the flow of our offense. I mean, I feel like, you know, we got a little stagnant sometimes. I mean, we talk with Coach Ross. I mean, he he wants us to move the ball, like, I mean, just was like a like a metronome. Like, I mean, it just keeps moving, moving, moving. And I feel like, I mean, even if we'll shoot a shot, get an offensive rebound, bring it back out, I feel like we'll, we'll end up holding it instead of, like, moving it around, you know, getting the defense moving. And, um, I mean, I felt like, you know, we got a little – we got stuck in those positions. And I mean, when we're moving the ball fast and and um, you know getting the advantage that we want, I mean, I feel like we play at our best level. In terms of uh, just m making shots, was this one of the games of your college career where where your team probably missed more open looks than than you've seen many times before? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've played a lot of games. I mean, I've had a lot of different situations. I mean, I've had a situation like this before, where I mean, I mean, the ball just wasn't going in the hole. Um, I mean, I felt like you know, if the ball ain't going in, you got to get stops. I mean, you got to stop. I mean, it was it was crucial moments where we needed to get stops. And um, I mean, to answer your question, I mean, I feel like I've I've been in a situation like this where you know, the ball just isn't going in the, in the rim that, that game. Both Bothwell went to the free throw line 15 times. What was the conversation on the floor to try to keep him in front of uh, the per, you know the defender? Um, I mean, it was just simply just guarding the ball. I mean, without fouling. I mean, we talk about that every day. I mean, just being able to when he gets to the rim, walling up, or you know, just not letting him get to the rim. I mean, we needed guys in the gaps, but um, you know, they had shooters, so I mean, we weren't getting as deep inside the gap because I mean, you know, they dish it out. So we just need to be able to just guard the ball in front of us and, um, you know, wall up when he gets to the rim and just make it a tough shot for him. But I feel like sometimes when he get into the rim, uh, we'll come down on him or he'll, we'll take the bump and our arms will come down and they'll end up calling the foul for him. So, um, you know, just, just being disciplined and when it comes to that. Noah, uh, heading, uh, what was the game plan in the huddle heading into overtime? And why do you think that didn't quite materialize with Furman jumping out to those early seven points? Um, I mean, I, I feel like it was the same game plan from the beginning. I mean, it was, I mean, we really didn't change anything. I mean, we were just saying that we got to be able to guard the ball and, um, you know, watch out for, you know, slip screens, uh, back cuts. And, I mean, that's they're just a really good, really good team with, like, those type of things. So, I mean, we just got to be aware of that and not falling asleep on um, – action after action, because they go in the one action and they go right into the next action. We just got to be able to be alert the whole time. Uh, how much, if at all, do you feel like the team is, is missing Coach Mack? Um, I mean, you know, he's I mean, he's our leader for sure. I mean, he's a he's the head coach. I mean, he's the guy that, you know, all of us came here for. And um, I mean, it's, it's just like I said, it's like a bump in the road. I mean, we I 
mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, I can't really say, you know, if he was here, it, I mean, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, we got we to gotta figure out a way to, you know, stay together and it's us playing. I mean, it's not about, you know, you know, who's coaching. I mean, it's us out there playing the game. So, I mean, they give us a game plan. We have to listen to them. We got to, you know, execute what they're saying. But, I mean, all in all, we're the ones playing. We're the ones that have to make the shots. We're the ones that got to guard the, guard the guys. And, um, I mean, I felt like we didn't execute that enough tonight.